why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. They barred the front door. Of course, we were trapped in here. The only way out was through the back, exactly where they wanted us. I'd gotten into my share of bar fights, but that night made me wish for any one of those. It ain't often you get nostalgic for getting your ass kicked by six sailors on shore leave. Maybe I wanted to die there, amongst the empty bottles and my slept-in clothes. When you write your life into a tragedy, events don't always follow suit. The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. I know he brought a fucking army down here, but there ain't much left of it! Oh, shit!
Time to see what's waiting outside for us. That ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. See what they got for us. The only way my first meeting with Passos could have gone any worse was if he turned a gun on me along with everyone else. I should have realized partnerships start as they mean to go on. Okay, I know you're enjoying this nostalgia trip and all, but come on! I still didn't remember having met Passos before. But then again, I didn't have any friends left from those days, and I didn't remember most nights after 6 p.m. Moving. saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. Easy for us, I Stay over here. Cover me. Yes, sir. He could have been setting me up for a fall. But something told me to stay put. Trust him. corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back.
Back in amongst it to help me out of a jam. The bar was right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, Scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street, all right? Family, more than once. Yeah, I know. So leave, start over. You've mourned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. Yo, I went on the roof. You! I want on every doorway! And you guys! I want every fucking corner coming! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max Payne! Yeah, that Max looks about right. Payne! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Oh, you're not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Drug! Ah, oh, you dumb fuck! I'm tired of this shit! This old guy, my days of playing dress up were over. I wasn't some gallant knight. I didn't need a shield. Must have forgotten about those. I guess I thought if I was going to be shot in the face in here, it would probably be me pulling the trigger. Fancy green light on my gun. Just the stubborn desire to stop those thugs from having their way. I hadn't wanted to live so bad in years.
my boy. Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil men! You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be cleansed! Cleansed in fire! No, no! It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for. A chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy, episode 203. We join our hero on a date at the arcade with Bicycle Helmet Girl. Yeah, we're not on a date. We join our hero on a top secret training mission. That's more like it. When, in the blink of an eye, the trickster sussy appears <laughs> and grabs mm -hmm. Bicycle Helmet Girl. Uh, help me, Baseball Bat Boy. <laughs> Save you, base is loaded. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. Then suddenly the trickster saucy presents his latest evil trick. A devilish aging ray. Oh no, Triple B. Don't get unnaturally old before your time. Don't worry, bicycle helmet girl. I'll never get old. Oh, Drat, I got old. Hit a grand slam and save me, Triple B. Oh. Oh, gee willikers! <laughs> How will our hero hit a home run when he can't even run the bases anymore? What will he do next? <sighs> Find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Hippos get hungry in the middle of the night. Good thing Hippo's Hamburgers is open 24 hours. Try the Hippo Family Pack. Keep those little hippos back. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. Rent was going to have to be lowered in the building. That was something the Tenants Committee could thank me for. The place should have been knocked down years before, but my lease turned out to be the order of demolition. Passos was up ahead somewhere. I didn't know if he'd run from the angry hit squad or my bad housekeeping.
damn it, kill him! Gunfire over Hoboken. It felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Coming into Newark Airport. Get right on the Pulaski, pal. Don't look down. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? <laughs> no, there he is! Shoot him! God damn it! Help there, brother. I need his help. Five minutes ago. You looked like you were doing fine. Okay, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. I could go on alone, but it wouldn't be so much fun. need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles.
thinking he was gonna get us killed. I was guessing the stairs wouldn't take us to the penthouse, but they were worth a shot. for a rainy day. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. the leather. Plenty here, don't beg it. This don't show the blood so much. How's this look? Must have forgotten about those. You got me into this shit. Come on. Okay.
dead end. But you knew your way around these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah. Think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. You like that? Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. Uh... You want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiete River, looking for what we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krachapre. Why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed our little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Yeah, somebody told them we were going to be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. We just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a... Harbor about a half a mile up. She's gotta be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I've been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey, Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Glide in. Don't go anywhere. Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect.